Yep, you read the title of the video. I'm going to review the box. I mean. Okay, for those of you who have seen the trailer, I know what you're thinking. This movie looks awful. This movie looks like one of the worst things ever. Yeah, the trailer, yeah, it is. Yeah, it makes it look much worse than the movie actually is. Trust me, the movie, it's just nowhere near as bad as it looks. The trailer is just, just horrible. But this movie is... Is it a good movie? No. Is it a bad movie? Well, considering we have stuff like this, it's not a bad movie. Yeah, so I know what you're thinking. Oh, if it's not a bad movie, then what did you like about it? Well, well, there is a few things I liked about this movie. Like, I liked the creativity, the animation, and I felt like the bond between the two characters is kind of forced, but it's decent. It's decent for a family movie, I mean. And, but still, this movie, it's not really that good, so I know what you do. So, what did I not like about this movie? For one, it's really juvenile. Like, I mean, I know it's obviously going to be juvenile because, well, it's about a baby, but it literally feels like it was written by a baby. Anyway, and, anyway, yeah, I, yeah, I can show do the DVD cover if you'd like because I actually do have it and the, it was from the library so I didn't waste my m money anyway with the movie it's so let's talk about the plot so you've got so 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 Tim is this one kid with a big imagination and and, and so he has these these like fantasy sequences that are actually kind of creative that's where the creative part of this happens like he's an astronaut or, or a skip by diver or whatever and so when the in these th and so so then you've got this one baby that comes he so then you've got like these different babies so there are these two different types of babies. You've got the, you've got the, the one type. You've got the first baby, like you've got the the, the regular normal baby, and uh, then grows up, and they get selected, and then like the babies that aren't ticklish, like go to management. And these are a rare type of babies, and these. Babies drink a magical formula that allows them to like stay like that allows them to stay all young babies forever and work at, at, at baby jobs and so and then so but then because puppies are getting more love than babies baby the the babies set out on a journey Tim sets out on a journey with with his baby brother and. And they, and they have to learn to get along with each other, each other, so that so that they can find so that they can find a way to to defeat puppies once and for all, or kind of something like that. Uh, well, I, or at least make sure that 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 babies don't have as much love as pup, or make sure that everything's balanced out. I know what you're thinking. This plot sounds ridiculous. And yeah, it is ridiculous. But honestly, like, yeah, just like Mob City, the, just what you said with Matthew David. I can't remember if I said this before because I had to re record because of my storage data. But what? Nah, never mind. Anyway, Love City 2.0, if you're watching this, just like what you said about Matthew Davis, where he's so cringy that he's funny. Well, this is kind of like with the boss baby. It's like so, so it's just so ridiculous and, and the wild that's actually kind of enjoyable. Yeah, it's kind of an yeah, it's kind of guilty pleasure, but yeah, this movie I have like part of me likes and part of me hates it. 
yeah, like that part of me that doesn't like it is how is how is how like how's how how it's really juvenile and the part of me that does like it is is how it has some is how the heart is in the right place, but it's just no sub there's no substance to it. But yeah, whatever. Tell if you've seen the boss baby. Tell me in the comments what you thought of it. <laughs> and I'm trying my best not to spoil it if anybody cares about spoilers. Anyway, bye.